Hello and welcome to the Merle and Locke podcast. I'm Merle. And I'm Locke. Set sail and low expectations for everything there to come by a healthy, albeit shameful, helping and pointless banter, lack of focus, and questionably acquired knowledge. And more. And more. So I got this free subscription, right? Like uh, I was I was looking around for something to watch on Amazon Prime, other streaming services are, of course, available. I I got an offer for a seven day free trial of Paramount Plus. Yeah. Oh. Every every now and again, like I don't I don't have like uh, all these subscription services. I just you know wait around until I can get the free trial, and then I'll try to like bust out as many of the things I wanted to watch as possible. We, yeah, we, we have a lot. So. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so I I was checking this out and I like I watched the the new South Park movies cuz you know you got to check those out. Of and, course. Of course. And then I was trying to figure out what I wanted to watch and I saw the the Halo TV series. Yeah. Uh, yes. So I was like I I'm a big fan of Halo. I I what? love Halo. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I absolutely adore Halo, and I love all the lore and whatnot and the stories. Uh, I've read a bunch of the books, which I loved. I've played the crap out of the uh, the video games. So I was I was apprehensive when, when the show was first coming out. And uh, a buddy of mine, he has all the, you know, streaming services and what have you, and and he checked it out, and and I was like, all right, well, let me know how it is. And he had nothing good to say uh. Uh, by the end of it. <laughs> and he was like, he was like, just, just don't watch it because it'll just, you know, it'll break your heart. It, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it'll break your heart. And like a lot of a lot of other friends would say, were saying the same thing, where it was just like, you know, it doesn't it doesn't stay true to the source material and this that and the other. And I was like, oh, well, that's that's disappointing. Uh, and, and, you know, like I stayed away from it for the longest time, but I didn't even check it out because, you know, I was scared. Right. Right. Because like, I, I didn't want to invest my time watching this TV show if, if it was just going to like, you know, break my heart. <sighs> but, you know, like I, I saw it there and there was two seasons out already. And I thought, you know what? Maybe maybe I'll just watch it. You know, like going into it, I like I'll know like not to expect it to, you know, s- stay stay true to the source material and right. Your your standards are already set at a low bar, pretty low. And <laughs> I was like I was like so like basically the idea that I got from other people, you know, criticizing it, other friends criticizing it. Is that it's you know it's its own show, but with a halo skin, seemingly like it has hints there here and there, like so some things do st- still stay true to the lore and what have you, but you know it's not it's not the same. So I went into it expecting that, and I watched it, and I went through all all two seasons, like I just you know, knocked it all out. And I really liked it. <laughs> uh, I'll never admit that to my buddies, right? That I had nothing good to well, say about well, it. It's, it's too late. It's out there but, now. <laughs> the internet knows. You lied to your buddy. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> like, I, I know, like, it, it, there was a lot of, like, weird stuff, right? Like, it... It, it didn't it didn't stay true it, it was seemingly all over the place uh there was some things like extra characters and stuff and and weird story storylines and what have you and uh, and master master chief he's like he, he has his helmet off like for the entirety of the show just about all right Which, that that was an odd one right <laughs> <laughs> but but it was like I I could still appreciate it, right? And and like I wa- I watched it through. It was it was a great story. It it was fantastic. It had me engaged with it the, the entire time. It, it held my interest. I, I loved the action. 
I love like I love the drama. I love you know the relationships that were built over the show and everything, and it like really like how it humanized the uh, the characters and the Spartans especially, and was just I I just really liked it. Uh, I thought it was fantastic, and I I was thinking about it right, and I was like, how often do we just trust the words? the word of others, you know, and and like their criticisms and, and just allow ourselves to hate whatever it is that they were criticizing in the first place without us actually, you know, exposing ourselves to that. You know, like how often does that happen? Well, that's the thing with the, the age of the internet, right? So you get millions of, uh, these posts where people are, uh, talking smack about, uh, a certain subject or a movie or show and say oh this is terrible and here's the reason why they give you a small clip and then you all turn around and you go you know what that's right that that wasn't supposed to happen uh you know whether it's from a book and it wasn't like that in a book and they changed the character and we just turn around we go yeah i don't like that either it's like it's like a popularity contest right we're like yeah, you know, we will, if if the if the masses say like not not the masses as like as a whole, but in that within that specific community in which we reside, like if they if they don't like something, then like how easily we're swayed into their way of thinking, e- even if we don't subject ourselves to whatever the material was uh, that we're criticizing, and it happens all over the place, like. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is Nickelback. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I thought Nickelback, Nickelback was great when I was growing up. You know, when I was a teenager, I'd listen to them all the time. And, and right. I loved the music. <laughs> and, uh, and like, I would jam out to it, like, whenever right. it was on. And then all of a sudden, like, they, all this hate came in, right? Like, all these people were just completely crapping on them and, and giving them, giving them, you know, the what for. And, and then, like, I found my opinion, you know, just slowly changing. I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe they weren't that good. <laughs> you know, because, cause, like, everybody hated them. I was like, maybe I just have bad taste. I don't right. know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, I don't want other people, like, you know. I don't want them to judge me. Yeah, I don't want God. them to rag on me for, for what I like, what I enjoy. So, you know, I'll just jump on the bandwagon, right? Right. And be like, yeah, ha, 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 uh, Nickelback sucks. And then I'll get in my car and I'll start blaring it, you know, to myself <laughs> and sing along. But <laughs> I'm just like, you have to hide your shame all of a sudden because th- everybody else is hating on it. And you're like, well, I don't want, you know, well, what would the others think of me, you know? So all, all other songs, you roll down your window, you're blaring it, and then Nickelback comes on, you wind up your window. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just keep this for me. You know? just, this is for me. This is, this is just for me. Nobody else. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I used to wonder about that too, and then I also uh, played devil's advocate with it and say, Nickelback, overrated. You know, they, they always sound the same. Well, all their songs, but in reality, just go back and listen to it anyway. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think of like other examples in which that's that's happened. Like it happens, it's been happening a lot with these adaptations of uh, video games and what have you into into TV shows or movies and, and, and things like that. And like it's just facing a lot of criticism from like a lot of just angry people, you know, I I'm trying to gain some wisdom from it. Because like the, like every time someone ridicules something and and I haven't you know gotten a taste myself, like I I guess I guess it's because like I I value my time right, where like if if someone says that something is horrible and you know and it's a, like a close friend or something like I'm I'm willing to take their word for it. Because I don't want to invest that time that I value into this thing, spending or, or money, 
Yeah, money as well. Yeah. So so like it's it's a gamble, right? You hear that something's going to be terrible and you're like, do I really want to spend however much money that's worth? I could possibly buy something else with that 20, 60 bucks, depending on what it is. It's tough. Well, I do appreciate those those friends who are very critical about about things because that then it's just like it's cut and dry i'm like okay i'm not gonna you know waste my time on it <laughs> whereas like you have those other friends where like they have very low standards <laughs> and they're like no no it's it's good fun you know like i, I played it for for a while if it was a video game or, or something of that sort and then you you invest into it too, and then they stop playing after like you know 20, 20 hours of gameplay, and then you know you're like oh like this was a waste of money you know because it, it just drops off after after a short amount of time. But like I've been burned that in, in that way before. Uh, but you know I it's an experience, right? Like you 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 try you try to gain wisdom from your mistakes and and what have you and you know sometimes it's worth it you know sometimes it it doesn't quite work out um but there's always something to learn now with the with the halo show good lord man like it it took me two days two days like i just i i was like staying up just binged i was getting like no sleep Uh, because it was so good and I couldn't stop because I was like, man, I got to see what happens next. <laughs> it just, it just had its claws in me, man. And I'm just, I'm excited for, for the next season too. And I, I remember when it, when it uh, initially came out the first season, like I, I think it had bad reviews. I heard a lot of bad things when it came out. I mean, I'm not big into playing Halo like you were, but yeah, I heard a lot of bad things about the show. Yeah, even after all those criticisms, like, I mean, I get some of them, you know? But maybe I've just learned to appreciate, I guess, essentially adaptations, right? Where where they just, you know, they take it, the source material, and they try to make it appropriate for TV. Like, it, it has more drama or whatever it may be it more humanizes characters rather than making them you know oftentimes in, in video games or whatnot like the main character is just very stoic right and and doesn't have a lot of is very dramatic about things you know because they're the hero they they can't be they have to remain stoic and brave and like no fear and you know go in just get the job done yeah but they really humanized uh, Master Chief in in the TV show, which you know in- initially, yeah, I was you know kind of you know uncomfortable about it, right? Because it's not something I was quite used to. Because like I know in the video games, like you know he he does have trouble every now and again, but yeah, he's very he's very stoic, like I said, and and he could just like see the mission, you know, even though he, he has things weighing on his mind. He knows the missions. He'll get it done. But but in the show, he was just he was having so much trouble with everything. Like he couldn't trust anybody, and you know he was forming these relationships here and there, and and everything was just it was just off kilter the entire way. But I enjoyed it, and I, I could appreciate that. And it was just it was very appropriate for a TV show. I, I think it depends on the mindset that you go into it like like you said you weren't going into it with high expectations also i feel you you probably look at it from a creator standpoint like the restrictions that they have whether it be this has to go on tv we know that there are other people that give the okay as to what you know what's on the script and they're like Eh, you know, I, I don't think that this is good enough for TV. Write something different. And now they got to come up with a whole new thing and hope that everything ties together well enough. <laughs> yeah, like, there there was, like I said, some weird stuff that, oh gosh. I, like, because I, I don't want to give any spoilers or anything uh, if there's anybody out there that wants to check it out themselves. But, but yeah, there is, like, some weird... <sighs> Okay, there, there's a there's a character, right? 
who's like in the show it's a main character you know but the, that character doesn't exist in in i guess the quote unquote real halo and it's it's kind of off putting so you're like who the fuck is that guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah exactly i'm like why why <laughs> why do we have this this is so weird <laughs> uh man and then oh and oh gosh okay so there was one thing that uh, was kind of disappointing at the end of the second season. There's a character that gets taken out, and I'm like, "What? <laughs> what?" <laughs> I was like, "I was like, they they have so they have such a big part to play in the Halo universe. Like, why did you take them out so soon?" Oh man, and it it kind of it, it upset me a little bit. But you know, I'm. I'm still excited to see, you know, what what happens in season three, and if if season three has the go ahead, which I hope they do, because I mean, geez, you're invested. I'm invested. Yeah, <laughs> I'm invested now. <laughs> yeah, there's also some character deaths that are that are different, you know, from the from the TV show to the game, or from the game to the TV show. It's like there's a, there's a lot of things that are different, but you know, I understand it. And I'm on board. You got me. I I just like I kind of want to change the name of the TV show instead of being Halo. Just be like Halo and in like you know parentheses like esque, like Halo esque. Yeah, I don't think that has the catch that you think it does. <laughs> <laughs> That's so you much know what Halo. If, if I see a, a a show and it was just like Halo esque. You go. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'll ever watch it. At least, at least people will know what they're getting into, right? I mean, I think the o only show that I can think of that that had a name that kind of like resembles that was a show show called Blackish. Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I, I just seen that it was like kind of a little bit of like one of those funny shows. I don't watch too much of it, but uh, wait. So you're saying so Halo ish would would be? Uh, no, I'm more, saying that the name fitting. is terrible. There, there's very few uh, shows that could pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that has the ring uh, that you want it to. But no, what I'm well, all I'm saying <laughs> is that it's you know it's it's Halo esque and it's. You know, just just go into the show. Like, if you're a Halo fan and you've been apprehensive about it, just go in knowing it's it's Halo esque and it's good. It's <laughs> it's a great show. It's a good it's a good romp, but it's not, you know, it's not pure blood Halo. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it's not called Cortana. It's not called Master Chief. So it's just it's in the Halo universe, right? So there you. That's why they call it Halo. I, I can see that. I can see that being the excuse. <laughs> I'm not backing it up. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could still come up with another word that exists within the Halo universe and use that as your title, but... I mean, just just like the last three Star Wars movies shouldn't have been called Star Wars. They should have been called something <laughs> else. <laughs> but then, you know, that's my opinion. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. Let's let's save that for whatever. Yeah, we do we'll the, uh, we'll the save that Star Wars special. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but all in all, all I'm saying is, you know, come come to your own conclusions. Yeah, about whatever source material you're you're looking into, or or whatever you know, show or movie or or what have you, because there's critics everywhere. You know, you, you can't escape them, and they're always. You know, the ones that have something negative to say are always the loudest, yeah? Oh, yeah. So, Absolutely. So, I mean, form your own opinions or, you know, value your time and, and take their word for it and not even take a gamble on it. I mean, it's up to you. I mean, you, you can hear what they have to say. Keep it in mind, but don't don't take it at, like, face value. Just go, okay, I can see their argument, but is there something good that I can take out of this? Or maybe the message here is to always have low expectations so that you're never disappointed. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I like there that one. That's what I live That's... with. <laughs> day, day in, day out. <laughs> 
Thank you for joining us on the Marlin Lock Podcast. If you enjoyed this banter, please consider becoming a patron by going to patreon.com slash Merle and Locke, or simply follow the link in the description. Thank you.